Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel and welcome back Cyber Angels, thank you very much for your loyal support and your likes and shares. We are growing fast and I hope you are well and safe and happy, I am, because I think you're all awesome, you make it the channel uh, what it is besides the cards and me. Without you, there wouldn't be a channel like it is. And for those that have just landed on this page or this channel, welcome. Please subscribe and, and hit the bell on all. And then you'll be notified when new videos are loaded up or when I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Um, wh uh, I, whilst I'm live, I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported with a super chat or a super sticker. Now if you would like to have an extensive reading then please don't hesitate to uh, uh, take up contact with me. You can find the details below beneath the video uh, in the description box and in the screen in the right hand corner of your screen you'll find a white circle with an eye in it and if you click on that then it will open up and if you click on the angel it will take you to my website there you can see reviews uh, interviews um, also um, the, the video of the competition which is cancelled but I'm starting up with that on a new page on Facebook I'll get to that in a minute but you can also see the different readings on offer the newest reading that I've added on is the crystal ball reading and it's awesome and enjoy your look around on the website and you might see a video on um, life coaching on whiplash as well as I'm hoping to start that in the near future but there is also a new page like I said on Facebook that is Charlie's Angel Crowd and there I'll be doing workshops, meditate group meditations and if you don't know how to meditate, in other words, I'll be guiding you in the meditation so that you can um, practice at home and get it to a T. Okay, and it will relax you and rejuvenate you at the same time. It is a private group and I also will be uh, going live like a, a Skype experience if you know what Skype is then uh, you can Skype and talk to face to face with different people in a conversation so that's why I've started up the page so that we can do this live session meditation inter, uh, interaction with each other exchange ideas or experiences or just a load of fun but really get to know each other as well face to face now if you don't like uh, to watch um, to be in a group like this don't be scared um, but don't miss out on competitions for example or anything like that meditations or workshops you can switch off your camera and still maintain the um, what you would call it the microphone on then we'll just see your uh, profile picture instead so join us there okay now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start doing your reading and the first reading this these are the shadow land cards and um, this is the queer and card all over energy Monday Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the four corner cards are the clearing fine cards for the cards around it and vice versa. I'm using the angel reading cards and the archangel metatron cards that's the angel of the divine light, the white light and that energy he uses that white light to heal and clear your chakras. He's also the angel for moving home um, whether it's business or private home uh, so if you are selling your home or wishing to buy a home then call upon Archangel Metatron he also uses esoterical uh, geometrical esoterical geometrical 
signs like uh, hexagrams, squares, triangles, and you name them. So let's get started with the reading. And remember, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, then just look at the information below the video and in the top right hand corner. The newest reading is the crystal ball reading. Okay, I hope you will enjoy it. So the first card that you have is the Hierophant and the Hierophant also represents um, Taurus. So you might be seeking advice from a Taurus which is a father figure or a professional mature man or you could be meeting a Taurus. You know what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate this reading, then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign. He is a man of uh, a stature or status from an institution or a municipality. It could even be your spiritual guidance counselor. In other words, this could be a shaman, literally, because that's an other word. Uh, shaman, the high priest. You could be going to a priest or a monk or anything like that to ask special spiritual guidance. But this could also be perhaps a, a, a medium or a psychic. Okay. Or you could be just meeting them and there could be a new potential partner if you're not hooked up. You might be out of balance because you've got number five. So that will bring you back into balance if you seek advice and guidance. The first card on Monday is the world card. It is 21 and 21 becomes a three. So be creative. What goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. This is also my karma card. If you've done good or bad, or somebody else has done that to you, karma will be returned threefold. Something has come full circle, in other words. Wow. If you have, if you are, uh, you could be going up a next step in a relationship. If you are just going out, you might be getting engaged, or if you're engaged, you might be getting married. You could also be promoted in work. You might get more clients. You might get now, you might just get the recognition that you've been working so hard for. You've been creative about it, okay? And you're back in balance. Look at that. Whoopee! She's got the buttons and she's got nothing to hide. And look at that red dress and the red shoes. Action, action, action. She has all the talents, all the gifts. Communication is air. The, the practical side of her, the business side. She's got the money, she's got the uh, physical activity, and she's been active, okay? What kind is it? She usually the lion, the eagle, the, um, the Taurus, and uh, uh, something else, the fish, I think. Um, but here you, ha instead of the eagle, you have the crow. They're very intelligent and lucky birds. And also, um, uh, you might be going on holiday and talking about moving home. You've got the Archangel Metatron. You could be moving home or you could be uh, moving your business. You might even be expanding your business. Wow. Big time, big time for recognition. Woo. Your plans are coming to fruition, Sagittarius. Look at that. Again, a three. Two and one is a three, so watch out for numbers that say three, three. Okay? You have three again. Your boat is coming in. Your ideas are coming to fruition. You're no longer at stage two of ones where you're making plans, forming partnerships. You have come full circle and your plans are coming to materialize. Wealth, abundance is wealth and abundance. This could be love, but this could also be material goods. You are going to receive news on Wednesday or around Wednesday as you have the night of ones. Again, this uh, 
does he does represent Aries, Leo or Sagittarius so in Wednesday you might be in full whack of balance because look it's lying in the in the line of um, the world and Aries here Taurus sorry and here we've got Aries so you might be on top of the world because the world card is in this row you will be receiving news now when you receive this news act upon it swiftly because the night also stands on uh, for uh, moving home perhaps you're getting news that your house has been sold um, that uh, or bought that the house that you've bought could be that as well sold or bought um, has been the the bid has been accepted or the mortgage has finally come through Ooh, you need action and jump to it quickly otherwise it will pass your nose by now like I said you're back in balance again this is the card justice justice will be done if you are in a judicial situation and you went to see your lawyer our advocate you will get what you deserve and they will get what they deserve again confirming really uh, the world okay the angels are leaving you with a number or showing you a number 11 that's an angel number and that is a doorway to a new beginning now if you are feeling out of balance get an other perspective look at the little owl looking down well that is what you've got you seek advice and you've got diff and you've got a different perspective and it's brought you victory and justice wow now for the first card you have the man in the linamon this is the linamon this is the cartomancy and this is the numerology you have the gentleman the gentleman stands for steadfastness business bringing back money to the home to support the family also that he will act like a man he is the man strong sturdy confident so if you are not meeting a new man in your life this could be your masculinity coming out even if you are male it will your energy the male side of you will be stronger to this week and if you're a woman you might be more career orientated and business like but you could meet a man and it could be a man because you uh, we, uh, the uh, water of water the element of water cancer Scorpio or Pisces as it also represents the heart the ace of cups so there could be a new love there could be a new passion your passion could be to study your passion could be to start up a new business or a new hobby because they and you will be nurturing it so it's love passion nurturing caring sexuality sensuality you might feel more handsome than usual because we are in a new energy we're in the energy of Leo and in the energy of August which is also Leo and that is action creativity logic going for what you want so you might be stronger and more forceful and dominant than usual whoopee and you've got number 28 so something is coming to an end and uh, a new beginning a full circle of events boom right 10 is an ending a one is a new beginning confirming the world um, this could be the man that you seek advice from if it's not meeting a new partner if you're not hooked up okay and if you're hooked up then you might seek um, a guidance from a, a man uh, that is a guidance counselor or a lawyer if you want to get separated because we do have the card of justice here so there could be people that are going through a divorce and you will be guided and you will be keeping your balance but you will get victory or what you deserve and so will the other person 
the angels are covering your back because you've got number 11 awesome then you have the tower yes I do keep the tower of the tarot in the back of my mind but I'm holding a Lenormand card now so that's more prom prominent the meaning of the, the, the tower in the Lenormand you are ambitious like I said you might start a new study because you want to have be more career orientated bring the bread home <coughs> right bring the money home being self-sufficient perhaps okay being more career orientated so you might start a new study well you are ambitious because that is what the tower means in the Lenormand but don't forget the people around you make time for the people that love you and support you this is really a big warning Sagittarius because when you reach the top and you did not take time out for the people that love you and you love and who you love and who support you all the while bef until you reach the top then it can be very lonely when you do reach the top you have 19 1 and 9 again is a 10 so you've got two 10s here okay again a f an, uh, an ending a new beginning this is also the angels showing repetitive numbers you've got the six of um, uh, spades that's the six of swords and that means moving away from rough waters going to quieter waters getting into balance wow you might be moving home you might be crossing water you might be immigrating or thinking of immigrating and you might be literally immigrating and moving home to another country of course you could be crossing water but this could be as simple as a bridge across water you might uh, leave home and cross a bridge uh, to the city or to another part of your country you could be also going on holiday wow beautiful card no need to be scared of cards you know I know the tower might be very scary especially the one in tarot because I was when I started off and um, because it looked so ferocious but now we've got modern decks and there's uh, some decks are so beautiful just take it as an adventure and if you are moving home then you might be if you're a first-time buyer you might buy something in high-rise or you might be moving from high-rise to something bigger moving up to a house with a garden that is all very positive news you will be getting news about that but take direct action instantaneously I can't um, say that enough okay and you will get this news from the real estate agent or an advocate or a lawyer to come and sign ownership or the mortgage Wow okay now I know in some countries you have to go literally go to court and stick your finger up in the air and say yes I want this house and swear on the Bible so that house is yours it's not just signing a piece of a paper but there's a whole lawful ritual uh, abound it to it I've lived in one of those countries okay the next card is um, the birds the birds means um, there might be meetings gatherings yes if you're signing contracts be careful you m need advice on the small print and make sure that there is no clinches or hiccups okay make sure it's built on proper foundations because the tower in Linamon is but not in the tarot so be careful that you do things properly and precisely and start from a good foundation so there will be discussions about this perhaps there could be presentations or there could be meetings with regarding other things if you're going to school it could be presentations about the information you're studying about or the subject that you're studying in 
that you've got the seven of diamonds. What you sow, you shall reap, but it will take time to grow. And with the birds also, somebody might have flown the coop or left the group. Okay, be careful of gossip. You've got number 12 here, and number 12 is a three, one and three. Here you've got 21, and now you've got the opposite, 12. So that is a three. Be creative. But be certain of what you're doing before you take the next step. Don't rush things, otherwise you have to repent in leisure. The saying goes, do things in haste, repent in leisure. Again, you've got three. Three is a prominent number. Three, three, three could be a very prominent number. So if you see, see three, three or three, 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 and it's happened before in other readings that I've got the three, three times. It could be the Holy Trinity, if you are thinking about it spiritually. Something is coming full circle, marriage perhaps. Okay, the, the vine, the angels and the cosmos have your interest at heart. Okay, now your boats are coming in. Your work is going to pay off. You seeking advice is going to be the right advice. You have planned your steps and they're coming true. They're coming round full circle. Okay. You've had your finger in many pies by the looks of it. And it's paying off now. Wow. It's taken a lot of uh, talking, meetings, uh, uh, convincing people that you are the right person for the job or you're the right owner for the house that your uh, bid for the house was the right one and you've got it and you'll be signing contracts and you'll be getting news about it the last card of the spread is the fish luck in business and luck in work. The fish don't know, don't have any boundaries because they are in water and there are no boundaries like from countries in on the, the ground, on the world, uh, on earth there are boundaries from one country to the next, not in the water. You can't see them anyway. So know your boundaries and let others know your boundaries if you are busy because you can work in groups don't be the one that does everything learn to say no and start delegating do it back to them okay why don't you do this and I'll do that we can spread the workload boom 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 you know what I mean you're a Sagittarian you know how to do that you are strategic you are logical and you're creative you can make it happen and this is the king of diamonds the king of diamonds uh, is the king of pentacles. So anything you touch today and this week, you it will come out to victory, justice. It will bring its return again and again and again. Okay? He's got the Midas touch. And you've got number 34, so that is a 7. A 7. Okay. And you've got a seven there, so it's in the same row. It, yes, it's in the same row as well. Awesome. Again, so three, 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 or seven, seven, or um, let me see. No, no, that was it. Three, 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 or three, three, or seven, seven are your numbers. Okay. And it definitely new beginnings and rich beginnings. Whoa. In an extensive spread, I also read the cards like that and like that and like that. And this could be then the past, the present and the future energy. So I hope it resonates with you. And like I said before, if it doesn't, look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Now we have the angel of the animal realm. Your, if you have pets or thinking of getting a pet, the angels are with you and they are protecting 
your pets. Whether it's a dog, a bird, or a cat, or a fish, it doesn't matter. Know that your pet is being taken care of. They are healing them if they are sick, and they are protecting them if they are alone at home. The last card is the card from Archangel um, Metatron and it is number 20. You're back in balance. You will be in balance. Like I said, the Divine, the Cosmos and the Angels are with you. And you've got the card Cosmos. Mirror mirrors you. So whatever you do, this is the Karma card as well, mirrors, mirrors you. The cosmos will give you back what you do. If so, if you do good, then the cosmos will throw it back to you threefold. And this looks like a top of a diamond. Wow. So be the diamond and shine and bling. And know that you always go back to polish up a facet. We go through each transformation or each facet time again. Sometimes we're up and sometimes we're down. And then we might be um, not very well. So we polish up our well-being, our health. So drink a lot of water. This is also looks to me like water, okay? Clear blue water, and that's what I'm hearing. Well, water is colorless and so is the diamond, but it does bling in the light. Awesome. That is a beautiful reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and share. Stay safe. Be blessed. And I hope to see you in the live sessions and if not, in the next video. Ciao, ciao. And have a wonderful, happy, active week. Go and get some action. Get some passion out there. Do what you want. Take a page out of your own book, The Fire Signs. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.